Good afternoon YouTube and the internet. Right now I've got the crankshaft here in this tub. Got some, uh, some cleaning agent, solvent, some brushes, uh, brakes park cleaner and a spray gun cleaning kit which I also used when cleaning the engine block. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is take out the grub screws which are these. Look to be about a four mil, three mil, and I hope the metric. They're either three point five or imperial. Why don't you put imperial size bloody Allen keys in a friggin' crankshaft in two thousand and eighteen? Okay, they are in fact. One eighth inch, so they are imperial. Uh, when I put these back in, I've got to lock tighten them. If you do not, then coming loose. Uh, just going to go over crank, get all those out. That's the first step. The reason that they're grub screwed is uh, the machine shop drills out the the bung that is pressed in there from factory. Um, so you can get access to clean out the oil galleries that the oil passages that the oil goes through uh, to lubricate the journal so you make sure there's no debris or machining swarf or anything in there. Uh, the sun will be behind the house in a second and I'll be in the shade, thank Christ, because it's hot. Right, I realise you can't see a lot from back there, but I don't have anywhere better to put you. So, brake cleaner. Get it into the journals, into the galleries. Now I can see debris coming out from these journals just from having the brake cleaner sliding in there. This is the point of what I'm doing. Now, this container was completely free of debris, dirt, and debris. Before I started this job, and that was for a reason, so I could show you what has come out of this crankshaft. Pipe brush, running through the journal, through the oil passages. The brake cleaner tends to dissolve it immediately, so I have some uh, solvent. You can already see grit like this, this has come out of it. All of this is trapped inside the crankshaft, inside the journals. That's a good buy engine. That's why you do this step. Uh, as far as the pipe cleaner, it's a flood this one. Push it through and out. Like so. You see, bang, bit of debris just fell out. And then in here as well. I'll flood that with brake cleaner again. And we'll watch this exit here where it comes out. It's not coming out. There we go. There's actually a physical blockage in there. So this goes diagonally down through the journals. Again, without spraying the camera. Here we go. Look. Now it's coming through the journals. And you 
to see this debris sitting here on the crankshaft. All that's got to come out. Because all that will come out in the engine when it gets hot or when it gets oil pressure. I'd much rather it came out now. demonstration of why we do this, why I'm doing this, and what I showed you a second ago. This just came out of a journal, this piece of uh, swarf, or you know a bit of the steel that's been cut away. It's, I'd say that's from the thread from actually cutting those taps uh, for, the, for the grommet screws. all these all of this general cleaning the brush touch brush scrub off any uh, redundant shit wax grease oil paint from testing Closer to ready for assembly. Next, I need the air compressor. I'm not going to drop this again. Spray this down with a bit of WD right now. This is a temporary protection measure. To make sure I don't get any rust starting on this thing. The, uh, the brake cleaner is pretty aggressive as a solvent and because it flashes off so quick, it tends to start uh, oxidizing pretty much immediately. Let's give you a look at what. In the bottom of this tub now. So that debris, the dirt, this, this tub was clean. So all of this metal and dirt and gunk that was all inside the oil passages inside the crank. So you can see why, although this is a bit of a pain in the ass, fiddly step, why it's worth the while to do it. I spent so much time and effort on everything to have that go through the oil into the journals. Bearings gone. Game over. I don't want game over. I want this engine to last quite a long time, so that's why I'm taking these extra steps. Uh, and that's why we got them to drill those passages out. Now, I've got to clean those screws, put them back in. They need Loctite. A brake cleaner and solvent. Got to get the oil off them, so the Loctite uh, has got a good chance to set. These are an NPT thread, they're tapered, so they are um, self-sealing, and sort of self-tightening, but I'm going to Loctite them to be sure. There's no reason they should ever have to come out, unless the crank's coming apart anyway, uh, out, and uh, at which point I'll be repeating this step anyway. Just going to clean out this, clean that area, clean the thread a little bit, the brush. I 
go here is isopropyl alcohol. Extremely good solvent for final clean for machine parts. Scrub screw, this is a uh, high strength permanent type lock type. Strip our threads, wipe out the excess lock tight, and that is sealed for life. This crankshaft is almost ready for final installation. Almost. Uh, the only thing I need to do is actually give it a final clean uh, on the bearing surfaces and assemble it because uh, there'll be dust and debris and stuff that's fine from, from being out here. Uh, that's fine. I just use the um, isopropyl alcohol to um, to clean it just before assembly, and uh, yeah, it can go together. <laughs>